Today, let us share our pet peeves about driving. Pet peeves? What are those? Pet peeves are the little things in life that piss you off a bit. Oh, do you mean like men who leave the toilet seat up? No, I mean, like, women who begin talking on the cell phone the moment they back out of their driveway. Well, men do that too, you know. How about text messaging, while waiting at a red light? I mean, how do you know when the light has changed? Look, if I can text message while I am driving down the road, I certainly can text message while I am sitting still at a red light. Don't be such a doe dick. Bulldash. It is asinine to text message at any time while operating a motor vehicle. You should pull over if you must engage in that kind of rubbish. Well can I at least talk on the phone while I am driving? Only if you are an absolute moron. But there are plenty of stupid things drivers do. Yes, like those sons of bitches who use the bicycle lane for turning, and those damned commie bastards who use the turning lane for passing. I'm like drivers on a side street far up the road who are waiting to pull out into traffic. But they wait until you are only a few car lengths away and then pull right out in front of you. And then, they make no effort whatsoever to speed up and get the hell out of your way. Exactly. Today, I was trying to merge onto the freeway, and there was this jerk in a BMW who sped up as if he was deliberately trying to prevent me from merging. What did you do? I put the hammer down on my Detroit engine and blew right past a stupid SOB. Bully for you, my dear. By the look on his face, I think he must have pissed all over himself. Excellent. And what happened next? He tried to catch up and pass me. And then? I cut him off, of course. My somewhat limited speech bank does not allow for me to make the correct sound, but try to imagine me laughing out loud at that revelation. Yes. Thank you. He was quite the specimen. Such an unmitigated loser. It must be difficult for you and I, to be so perfect. Indeed. It is.